There's need to improve the flow of investment, um, the flow of technology, the flow of goods in the region. In the Caribbean region, uh, a number of islands, um, the total population of the countries in the Caribbean Sea is about 40 million people. Um, we need to have a digital platform developed so that there can be more competitiveness in the private sector. Uh, uh, and these are some of the requirements in terms of technology in order to provide um, the, the necessary uh, support for competitiveness. Uh, and I believe the ECLAC and Mexico as well have been pursuing many measures aimed at supporting the region in its wider frame. ECLAC has been at the forefront of the policy prescription for introducing equality in the development process. And they have been able to put forth a number of very specific ideas in order to promote the issue of equality in development. Um, they have played an important role in organizing workshops, in having meetings of officials, in introducing methods by which the Millennium Development Goals can be implemented. I'm pleased to indicate that in the case of Trinidad and Tobago, many of the goals have been achieved over time. Uh, that is of the first set of goals, and so now the new set of goals uh, are to be achieved in the future. So ECLAT has played an important role in, in shaping the direction of the development processes. Audio